case. I was completely innocent. I didn't have any uh, classified information. I was not a terrorist. It was quite clear. And it probably became very clear when, when they started investigating me. Who is this guy, James Yee, when they put me in jail? And they started going back to, you know, oh, he's from West Point. His brother's from West Point. Uh, let's see what he said after 9-11. And I was on record as a chaplain saying that those who carried out the attacks on 9-11, whether, whether they were Muslim or not Muslim, had to be brought to justice. Why? Because innocent people were killed. Right? So I was on record saying things like that. They researched me. They investigated me. It came clear that I was not the terrorist that they were hoping to find. But I will say that I believe I was arrested and thrown in jail because they didn't want someone like me in Guantanamo standing up for the rights of prisoners who were being abused and mistreated. So it was part of a method to get me out of Guantanamo, uh, especially during a time when much of the world did not know what was going on inside this prison camp. Any more questions? Do I still feel that the U.S. government or U.S. intelligence is still keeping an eye on me? I know the U.S. government <laughs> and the U.S. intelligence is keeping an eye on me. I will go so far as saying that there may be people working for the U.S. government and U.S. intelligence right here in the audience, <laughs> listening. It's a reality. It's a reality. In the United States. In the United States, Muslim communities are very concerned with the surveillance that the United States government and other law enforcement agencies, even uh, uh, even like the NYPD, the New York Police Department, with some of the things that have been revealed and released as to how Muslims are under surveillance in the, in, in the United States. It may even be more severe here in the UK. I heard of a thing recently on this trip called the... Uh, uh, PVE is it called? P, uh, preventing, uh, preventing of violent extremism, which somehow allows universities to provide information about its students to the to government intelligence agencies here in the UK. Right? We should all be aware. We should assume that our emails are monitored. We should assume that our phone calls are being monitored. I know in the US that's that's a reality. My travels, whenever I go anywhere within the United States, I get a boarding pass. And let me show you one. I actually brought one today. Airline boarding pass. Every time I fly anywhere, even within the United States, I get a boarding pass that has marked on it SSSS. And when I go through the agent, they highlight it. And that tells the agents, this guy is singled out for further security and inspection. So my bags now get thoroughly searched, right? They take some chemical swabs and they, they, they go on my bag and they put it into some machine that analyzes it to see if there's some type of explosives on it or anything like that, right? But it's marked by this SSS. This is the boarding pass that I had leaving the United States coming to the UK. This is something new. Even my baggage claim, when they put the baggage, this on my baggage, that tells the, the airline that my luggage goes to Heathrow, LHR, they also mark that SSS. So that tells the transportation security agents, I'll make sure we inspect this bag in particular. Right? This happens to me almost without fail when I travel. And in particular, when I travel outside the United States, the last several times, to include the last times I came, the, the last few times I came to the UK back in 2007, 2008, when I went to Kuala Lumpur last year, when I went to Mumbai the year before. When I come back into the United States, when my plane lands, that jetway comes out to the plane, the door of the plane. When I come through the door of that plane, there's always a transportation security agent waiting at the door, looking at everyone's passport. But when I come out the door and he sees my passport or my name, he says, come with me. 
I get a VIP escort right to immigration, and then I get interviewed. That's what they call it. They call it an interview. I call it interrogation. Right? I always know. I always know that happens when I when I travel domestically. That that TSA agent is waiting at the door of the plane. Generally, I wait till everyone gets off the plane, so I'm the last one. <laughs> 